tiny house I built from the ground up. Uh, I hope you enjoy my video. Thank you. This is a steel entryway step that I welded together. I uh, left it unfinished to give it a rusted, rustic look, which is quite popular here, especially down south of us in the ski resort of Telluride. Uh, looking up is a fully flashed and sealed entry stoop with red oak tongue and groove paneling running the rest of the entry alcove. The door is insulated and aluminum with a deadbolt and an LED downlight. Here you can see the floors. Uh, they're a Traffic Master laminate, which I have been pretty impressed by. I used Type-On wood glue in the tongue and grooves, and then went back with an additional layer on top of the seams to effectively prevent any moisture from making its way into the joints or below the planks. Looking down through the kitchen towards the living room, you'll see a full-size propane range and oven with uh, ample counter space. All LEDs inside of the house are on dimmer switches. The poplar trifold futon with a memory foam mattress on the right is currently in sofa position but folds into a lounge position and then into a full queen size bed for guests. I was skeptical at first but blown away by how comfortable it turned out to be. The coffee table is a custom fabricated piece I built that can be used for food and drinks and slid under the floating entertainment center when not in use. The wall mounted TV and sound bar are both included. In addition to an LED downlight on a dimmer, I inset LED strip lighting into channels around the perimeter of the seating area. This is the view looking back towards the bathroom. You can see the high CFM range hood which is vented directly outside. The wall mounted box holds the microwave which keeps it well out of the way but still easily accessible for people of all different heights. Uh, note that the window is a slider and lets plenty of breeze in when desired. The drawers are all on full extension soft closed ball bearing slides and offer plenty of storage. Here's a close up of the mitered cabinet boxes with black walnut dovetails. Uh, the countertops throughout the entire house are 16 gauge stainless steel. This is the basalt stone herringbone backsplash complemented by one inch angle aluminum. The uh, shelf here over the oven uh, provides space for spices or similar. Covering the gap between the oven and countertops are stainless steel trim strips I made custom for the space to prevent food from falling into that gap. The sink is granite with a stainless steel pull out faucet. The kitchen and bathroom electrical circuits are GFCI protected per code. The cubbies below the refrigerator here are meant for shoes and extend all the way back to the wall. Uh, the areas behind the doors here also extend all the way back to the wall. The tallest storage cubby has a closet rod and the next three have adjustable shelves. The loft is 49 square feet and fits a king mattress. The two awning windows allow plenty of breeze and airflow when needed. I always keep them cracked for proper air exchange. Here's a view looking down from the loft. I tried to keep things as open as possible to give the space a bigger feel. Mounted on the walls you can see trim covering the water lines. I wanted to keep the lines inside the building envelope to reduce any chances of potential freezing. The cover plates are all removable with trim screws for easy access. This is the indoor unit for the mini split AC system. I've found it to be incredibly effective. 
It's a low power draw system, yet can cool or heat the entire building in a matter of minutes. Notice the LED temperature display in the upper right of the unit. The bathroom window seen here is also an awning window. The sink is full size. I wanted a full size as opposed to a smaller RV style sink. The cabinet is a floating vanity so you have storage underneath if needed. The toilet is a separate Villa 9215 which has gotten phenomenal reviews. I'll spare the details here but I do explain how it works on my website. This is the custom fiberglass shower with the rainfall shower head I built for the space. I wanted a custom shape to take advantage of the area to the best of my ability. Here's another view of the trim covering the water lines. As with the rest of the cabinetry, doors and drawers, the covers have been finished with three layers of waterborne polyurethane. Here's an outside view of the front of the house showing both the vent for the range hood as well as the shower exhaust fan vent. As you can see, the two loft windows are awning windows. Uh, the bathroom is closed here, but is also an awning window. This is one of the two decorative steel overhangs I built custom for the building. There is one on the front of the trailer as well.